Now, the biggest impact of Mazzano's new taxonomy of learning on senior schooling has been the framework of what are called cognitive verbs. Now, many teachers see these as things that need to be assessed, but they go much deeper. If you truly understand Mazzano's framework, you'll come to an understanding that the cognitive verbs really frame what students are to learn. That's their purpose and focus. The assessment is an ancillary aspect, and because the QCAA is very interested in assessment, that's their DNA, um, it tends to be flavoured by an assessment view of cognitive verbs. But cognitive verbs were really about describing what and how students learn. And it's not related just to a specific subject. It's across all of their subjects. So there'll be certain cognitive verbs that students will focus on learning through the study of digital solutions. Other cognitive verbs will have a greater emphasis in other subject areas. So in that sense, it's a little bit like the general capabilities, but much more specific in terms of learning outcomes. And we'll see these. And indeed, all of your assessment is focused around identifying what of the cognitive verbs students are learning and how you will assess those specific aspects of those cognitive verbs through various assessment techniques. So start with, I've given you a little bit of a breakdown again of Masano's taxonomy in relation to cognitive verbs. Have a look at that document and just refresh your understanding of that aspect. Then I've given you a breakdown of different ways of how these cognitive verbs impact upon your teaching and learning, such as encouraging creativity and innovation, um, encouraging self-determination in students' own learning, uh, personalising their learning experiences, using formative assessments to inform their progress of learning, a whole range of different applied elements of why we use cognitive verbs. Then you need to look at what the cognitive verbs are, and I've given you a glossary of them. So this is the description of what each of the cognitive verbs actually um, represent. And then finally, I've given you how these cognitive verbs are categorized. So we group the various types of learning into various categories. And there are retrieval and comprehension cognitive verbs, there are analytical processes, and there are knowledge utilization processes. So these are the framework of students' learning. And indeed, we could ignore the subject matter. So ignore digital solutions and the fact that it's all about learning about computers and programming languages and information systems. What the QCAA is really interested in is students learning these capabilities, these cognitive verbs. Just as the main focus of the digital technologies curriculum was about learning those thinking skills, the senior curriculum is focused around students learning these cognitive capabilities. They will then be able to apply these across a whole range of different subjects in terms of their specific learnings, including digital solutions, of course, but they'll also be able to apply it when they go to university and they might study something completely different. It might be architecture. There'll be a whole range of cognitive verbs that will be utilized in their study of architecture. So it's really the curriculum in senior schools is these cognitive verbs, how that's enacted. And we provide a means of achieving these cognitive verbs through studying subjects, just as we had a whole lot of um, content descriptors in digital technologies to help us learn the thinking skills. Now, you need to become very familiar with these cognitive verbs, not just the specific ones that we'll be focusing on in digital solutions, but also you'll need to know them for other subjects that you'll be teaching. And I've given you a little flashcard um, printout that you can do, which can help you memorize and learn these cognitive verbs. Of course, they will become essential in your unpacking of the um, syllabus and the subject matter as we explore digital solutions in more detail.